lawmakers are pushing to create a centralized hub for first responders that would include a gym, helipad, and even a hotel. I spoke to supporters who say there are long-term benefits, but others tell me it's government overreach and the state should be focusing on more pressing issues. The plan to consolidate state, federal, and county first responders is already underway. This may not look like much now, but this 150-acre lot behind me and a second 93-acre lot behind that are slated to house the massive first responder technology campus. The land is located in central Oahu in Mililani, not far from Wheeler Army Airfield, and it's already owned by Hawaii Technology Development Corporation or HTDC. Agencies housed there would include the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency, the State Public Safety Division, DLNR, Homeland Security, FBI, U.S. Marshals, just to name a few. Plans include numerous offices, classrooms, warehouses, indoor and outdoor training areas, cafeterias, an indoor shooting range, fitness facilities, a helipad, 500 houses, and a 150-room hotel. The House Water and Land Committee passed a bill that originally requested $50 million for construction on the first phase of the project. The entirety of the road is estimated at about $150 million. Oh. So we're building the start of the road and the basic infrastructure for it, the grading for it, uh, which would allow the, the campus to get started. So this hundred million in this bill won't even get us the full road? Not not the entire hundred it's estimated at about hundred and fifty. If if you look at the renderings, I, I'm assuming you're familiar with the renderings. Right, right. But this is just really to get us to the part where you're gonna build the new facilities for Haima. Correct. I met with Representative Sonny Ganadin, who voted against the bill. I think it's rather ridiculous. Um, in government, we agree to be public servants and, um, and we honor the sacrifice and the duty of first responders. However, uh, you know, a hotel, a gym, um, all these extra amenities, they're not really necessary. Supporters say there's a huge benefit moving these vital agencies out of inundation zones and improving their technological capabilities. This also brings um, facilities and headquarters to serve as a home for some of our newer agencies and agencies that have gone without. And there's a cost savings down the road because right now there are facilities that are in dire need of maintenance and repair, as well as we lease private facilities to house some of these departments. If this project is approved, once infrastructure is built, I'm told Haima and ETS would be the first to build facilities there. Wicker says the bill still has several more committees to go through and the state budget would have to be looked at before any funds are appropriated.